we're talking all about the Evergreen Shower Blows. So the Evergreen SB or Shower Blows is probably the best top water on the market in my opinion. Uh, it's my confidence top water bait and I'll go through all the reasons why. First of all, components wise, the Evergreen is a high-end boutique company from Japan, makes real high-end lures. These things come at a premium price, but they come with premium components. These hooks have a name for themselves alone. In fact, go do your own research. You'll see people hunt down these hooks all the time. Uh, these hooks are coated, insanely sticky, sharp treble hooks that come on these baits. And they have beautifully hand-tied feathers on the back, on the back treble here. Really good split rings on them. And really heavy weights inside of them. I believe these might even be tungsten inside of here. Uh, if not, they're really big lead <laughs> weights inside. I've never cut one open, but these things are heavy. They cast like a bullet. So typically with a top water bait, casting wise can be some of the biggest challenges to being effective with a top water. If it's windy at all, or if you're trying to make an excessively long cast of surfacing fish that are breaking far away from the boat, you don't want to start the motor up and drive over to them. You want that extra distance. It only aids you in being accurate and catching, putting more fish in the boat and covering more water. And this is probably pound for pound <laughs> the easiest casting topwater I've ever thrown. Uh, because of its shape and its, the fact that it's very heavily weighted in the rear section of the bait, this thing casts like an absolute missile. So no spinning tackle required with this one. You can straight up throw this on any bait casting reel you got, any line you wanted to and throw it an absolute mile. But I prefer to fish it with braid to a fluorocarbon leader. And what I mean by fluorocarbon leader is a really short section of super stiff fluorocarbon. So I'll use up to even 25 pound test at times. Typically I run 20 to 22 pound test fluorocarbon in a small little section about this big with an Alberto knot. And that all that's doing for me, that little section of fluorocarbon like that, is preventing this, these treble hooks from getting tangled up in the braided line. Because this bait is, in my opinion, shines the best when being fished extremely fast and erratically. It's one of the easiest baits to walk the dog with, which is an action where you're twitching slack line in your, in your rod and you're making the bait walk side to side backwards. Now, what category that this uh, top water falls in is not as simple as just saying it's a walking bait because honestly that is what it shines at but this bait also features a cupped lip design like a popper so this thing spits and throws water up in the air like a traditional old school popper does but it also walks and can be fished extremely fast so in where in my opinion this bait shines over any other bait on the market is when you're fishing along and you've all experienced it, you hear that fish jump way off in the distance and everybody in the boat turns and says, what was that? And you look over and you see a little ripple on the water and it always tends to be just about 10 feet to 20 feet past where you can ever cast. And you never know in your head if you, what that was. Was it a big bass that jumped or was it a carp or what, was it whatever? This thing gets there. So you can throw it over there and run it back to the boat super fast. If you get it through that target zone and it wasn't a, it wasn't a biting fish that you're gonna get in the boat, you can rip it back to the boat super fast and make another cast with whatever other bait you were using or just keep covering water with this bait. Schooling fish. Now that's something that happens a lot more in reservoir fishing than it does typically in our natural lakes up here where the fish have kind of gathered up all the forage all around and they're pushing all that shad to the surface and you see a whole bunch of fish busting and eating like crazy. This bait is probably, once again, the best bait for targeting those schooling fish. You can fire this thing out there, get to those, that activity on the surface, rip this bait through, get a fish back to the boat and get back out there again really fast and efficiently and try and catch as many fish out of that school before that schooling activity dies. And the best part is it does that even when it's blowing 15, 20 miles an hour like it tends to be on our days that we get off to go fishing. You can throw this thing in any of those conditions, which makes it absolutely my favorite. Next up is color. And I would say this one right here, this one I believe they call heavy metal or full metal, I believe. Uh, it's a chrome bait, so it's matching shad. 
which is the most common forage in our reservoirs in the southern parts of the United States. But we have shad in the rivers up here in the North Country and even different species of shad and silver-based minnow forage and the Great Lakes and all over the place. So anytime you're trying to mimic that type of forage, the silvers, the chromes, the whites really do shine. Uh, there are also some bluegill patterns in this that really shine in the natural lakes up here, frog patterns for if you're fishing around a lot of vegetation, you're trying to get that frog bite in a more of an open water situation. But just remember when you're when you're thinking shower blows, this thing not only covers different categories of top water with being a popper and causing commotion, but it's also a walking bait and great for covering water fast and, and effectively. As far as gear with it, I think a 7.3 or 7, a se, just as long as it's 7 foot plus, but 7.3 medium heavy fast action really shines at this bait. It's heavy enough that you do not need to throw uh, a super light rod with it. You can put some meat behind it. These hooks are insane that come on this. This is one of the few baits where I never even think about changing out the hooks on. Uh, you can fish braid to a leader on this with a really fast retrieve reel like something 7 seven gear ratio and above so that you're cleaning up that slack line real fast and making this thing walk with really fast aggressive twitches so uh think of real versatile casting rod you've already got in your arsenal that's over seven feet long with a fast action and you can catch them on the shower pose go check these things out i promise you they'll be one of your favorites as well